Research Methods Fall 2017 with Dr. Araban Ara. I chose to concentrate on uh, Jovanovic and review his <clears throat> Housing for Elderly Socialists in a Post-Socialist Town and um, understand his research method in regard to that development or to that project. Uh, I found the urban fog of Belgrade to be similar to the conditions we find here in Detroit. And <clears throat> basically it's the uh, town that's going through development but has not been able to um, define an identity. And um, you saw that prior to um, 2011. It, it's only been recently that Detroit's began its comeback. So I chose to focus on um, actually how many the homeless, um, poverty, and how many people die in the streets of Detroit and are, are unclaimed and what happens to their bodies. Um, so my design solution <clears throat> uh, will be to uh, memorialize their deaths. I was able to refer to some case studies from larger cities here in the U.S. who also have a large number of identified bodies and um, what happens to them. I don't feel that other cities memorialize the deaths of the unclaimed bodies when they pass. And my goal will be to um, really honor the death by bringing back um, something to the city. So I propose that a building be renovated. Uh, uh, prior to this point, a building that was um, abandoned and potentially um, in demolition due to neglect um, be renovated in uh, memory of all of the people um, in the community that there are unidentified or can't afford a burial service or have no family um, to help them provide for a burial service. Um, my context would be um, urbanly, as I'd mentioned, um, two locations in the city of currently abandoned buildings that require renovation, restoration. Um, this would bring uh, Socially, this would bring money into that pocket of the neighborhood, um, as well as creating jobs. So this, the burials would be on the outside of the building in a raised bed for multiple um, burials. So uh, potentially 50 different plantings that would have the opportunity to um, have the burial